you need to understand what you need to back up. Identify what you need to recover from a total loss. Think of your data system. If it totally goes away, for whatever reason, it ceases to exist. What is necessary for you to bring up your business functions, bring up full support for all the critical functions on another machine? The answer may be a little bit more than you thought. First off, you have to have the operating system installed on the second machine. You have to have the software installed on the second machine and then all configuration files and data files. So identify these data files that may change and make sure that you have them backed up frequently enough so that you can recover. And again, how often? Not only what to back up, but how often? It is highly dependent on volatility and recovery time. If you back up daily, that may or may not be good enough for your particular organization. A daily backup is going to require in order to restore that you restore last night's backup then you have to worry about how to retrieve the information that has occurred since last night's backup. Again if you have some sort of replication system installed the replicated data should be available hopefully it's on another site so that you can grab it. If you have log based replication to where you take current transactions or recent transactions and copy them across the network to another machine then you may have to roll these transaction logs forward into the new system perhaps into the new database to bring the new system up to the point where your old system failed so if there are many many steps to bring you back up to speed you might want to back up a little bit often so that the difference between the backup point in time and the failure point in time is as small as possible although more frequent backups may mean faster recovery. It's not always the case. You have to look at it on a case-by-case -case basis.